In today's class, I will explain you how to design a sign up page using HTML and CSS. See here, this page has been designed, then cursor moves over and form, then it will be zoom out. The transform property has been used over there. Then I will show you anyway. Then username, email ID, password and confirm password and sign up button or else login with your Google or login with your Facebook. Okay. Then this form has been designed using HTML and CSS. Then I will show you the code. This is the HTML code. Okay. Uh, this is the fields, text fields has been used. Username, email ID, password and confirm password. Uh, this is called as the sign up button. Okay. The form ID equal to sign up. Then this is called as R button. Okay. Then these two fields are login with your Google and login with your Facebook buttons. Then I added some CSS code over there. This is the CSS code has been used. This is the body because this is applicable to the entire the body. Background image has been used. The background size should be covered because it is not like an image. It should be at center. No repeated images has to be displayed on the web page. Then background attachment should it, it should be fixed. Okay. Then this is the background image. Then I would like to remove all the CSS code. Then how the form will be shown. I will show you. I remove the code. Then save it. Then I would like to run. I would like to run the page without the CSS. See here. The, how the page form has been displayed. Okay. This form has been displayed without having any CSS code. Okay. Just HTML uh, code has been added. This is the background image. Then this is the form. See here how it has been displayed over there. Then if I add the CSS code, how it will be shown. Okay. Then I will explain each and every property. See here. Then this is called a sign up. Okay. Already I have shown you. This is ID of the form. That's why you use the as symbol. The position should be relative or absolute. You can any, any uh, one pro, any one any one of the value relative or absolute because it should work. Uh, left to top, bottom, right. Okay, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay, left should be 33, top should be 20 percentage. Then what purpose I used those properties? See here. Then I would like to save it. Then it comes to here. Then how oh, this form has been displayed. See here. Without adding the CSS, after adding the CSS, how oh, the form has been shown on the web page. Okay, this space is called as the left. This space is called as the top. Okay, that's why I used these properties. Then height of height and width of the form. Okay, this is height and width of the form. The display is optional, it should be like a block. The border of the form should be 20 pixel as a width. Then border style should be solid. Then color should be any color you can use over there. Okay, border should be like, you like to use the red over there. Then out will be shown, see here. Okay, border has been displayed as a red color. Okay, then after that I will come to the border radius, which means that padding left, how much space is required between its border and its content. Okay, this space is called as this space is called as padding left. Okay. Then it comes to the border radius is 8 pixels. Okay. All corners should be rounded by 8 pixels. Okay. Different on our application. You can increase the size or decrease the border size, border radius size. Okay. Then it comes to the background color should be white. The background color should be white. Then box shadow. Well, this is called the argenta style. The vertical style. Sorry. This is called blur. Of the shadow, this is what this is called as the color. Okay, this is see here the shadow is displaying over there. Okay, if you remove that property, no shadow of the form will be displayed. Okay, then comes to your transition transform one second. Okay, when your mouse pointer moves over a form, then it will be zoom out. Okay, that is called as the transition. Then transform one, one second. Okay, the animation should be it takes one second. The transform property will scale 1.3 because it is zoom out, then 130 percentage. Okay. Then one, one means 100 percentage. 1.3 means it should be one, 130 percentage. Okay. Then this one. Okay. How it will be shown? See here. Sorry. Okay. When mouse moves over any form, then it will be zoom out by 130 percentage. Clear? Okay. This is the purpose. I used the transition and transform properties. Clear? Then I comes to the next. 
the input required this uh, required is attribute okay i've been used here then where i use the required attribute is here 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 these four fields it is applicable what are the styles have been added it is applicable to these four from uh, elements okay padding should be 100 pixels okay if i remove this padding what is happening we will see okay then how it will be shown there is no much space between its uh, what is called content and its border okay it is uh, looking like clumsy then that's why i used the padding okay then how it will be shown okay there is a much space between its border and its content okay it's looking good then comes to the border the margin only i used the only margin bottom then i removed all the borders top left and right see here i removed the left top and right that is the purpose i used over here if i remove these uh, how it will be shown see here the borders will also be displayed for the text fields or email password and confirm it is not looking good okay that is the reason i used these properties then border radius should be 20 pixels okay then here it is some corners should be rounded okay then it is also not required if you want you can use okay then when it comes to the r button then some css code have been added okay this is called the r button okay then what are the css code have been added i will show you border radius should be 50 percentage that's why it is displayed in a it is displayed like a circle then margin left is 10, 10 pixels okay this color this space is called as the 10 pixels of the margin left then color should be white the text color should be white yes the r should be displayed in the white color the border it has no borders okay that's why border should be none border left border right border top border border then background color should be okay this color has been used as a background okay then because the why use the first second third okay this have been taken the first division this can be taken as a second division this can be taken as a third division okay if all the elements should be displayed in the same okay same line that's why use the float okay then second should be margin top 70 pixel margin left 10 pixels second should be means r button okay float is also left okay then only it will be placed in a proper position when you miss uh, third division okay this one is called as third division okay margin top 50 pixel margin left 20 pixels the float should be also be left okay just i use the margins then i place it at the appropriate position okay login with google button login with facebook and, and also r button then when it comes to the google button what is the css could have been added this is called as google button see border is one pixels then border radius two pixels the height should be 30 pixels which should be 150 margin pa bottom should be 150 pixels okay this has been used for google okay this one okay then when it comes to the input type equal to submit because it is applicable type equal to submit because it is applicable to the submit button okay which one is the submit button this one okay this is a sign up button then what is border one pixel margin top 15 pixels margin top this space is called 15 pixels then border radius should be two pixels the radius of this button should be two pixels then background color this has been used yes this background color has been used over there then color should be white the text color should be white when it comes to the h1 element okay this is called the h1 element then color has been used color of the text should be this one has been used margin left 20 pixels okay this space is called as 20 pixels clear then here when google colon over because when mouse moves over a this login with google button this uh, because transparency has been applicable over there how much transparency is required 0 0.5 has been used the same for what is called opacity 0 0.5 okay this is for submit button okay this is for what is called google button and it is also be used for what is called login with facebook okay see here then focus focus means because uh, see here what is mean by focus when element gets focus these are the applicable okay i use it for this one okay focus it get focus these fields see here outline should be zero because if you want to use the outline should be one what is happening Out, outline borders then out will be shown see here okay it's, it's showing like this okay it is not looking good our borders has been displayed when it gets focus then that's why outline would be zero the border color because here the margin bottom okay border margin border margin bottom color uh, what is called color has been changed to the blue okay bottom of the text field they like that bar style solid 
dotted or dashed or solid which one you want you can use then two pixel width of this one what is called the width of this border it should be what is called two pixels the opacity then it is also transparency as also be applicable over there okay see how the element should be appears over there okay that is called a transparency then these are the css code has been used for the form sign up form design okay if you have any doubt regarding this sign up page design if you want to know any such website design you can ask me at any time okay thank you thank you all for watching my videos